in a giant dome. These men are attempting to break a particular world record. And they're doing it with paper airplanes. Launch! 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 Their aim is to surpass the momentous flight distance of 70 meters. This is what spurred them on. An online video with over 4 million views. It shows the flight of a paper airplane reaching an incredible 69.14 meters. However... Supreme Skills has made miracles happen with cutting-edge technology and craftsmanship. Let's take up the challenge and see how much farther we can fly. Two teams of airplane enthusiasts have answered the call. First, we have a group of academics pursuing the airplanes of the Welcome to Supreme Skills. I am Chihara Jr. And I'm Nobuko Ikeda. Today we have a paper airplane contest. The world record is 69 meters. We'll have to see if we can beat that. In part one, we saw just how delicate these planes are. Hmm. For this contest, the teams will produce three airplanes each. The only materials allowed are paper and glue. There are no restrictions on weight or size. A thorough analysis of the record-breaking flight has been used to set the rules. The launch must be from a height of no more than two meters above the floor at a speed of not more than 72 kilometers per hour. In part one, the first challengers were a group of students from Tohoku University. This team of students has won a human-powered airplane competition several times. Using technology derived from their human-powered airplanes, the group entered the fray with giant wings. Launch! Whoa, it's climbed high! But the plane pitched upward and then fell to the floor. When the plane went vertical, the wings couldn't generate lift, which resulted in a stall. The distance covered was 26.78 meters. Next up was Daisuke Imai, an engineer who's an alumnus of Tohoku University. He took up the challenge by using simulation software designed for paper planes. He devised an airplane with a triangular wing, much like that of a fighter plane. His plan was to launch it like an arrow. Here goes. It climbed steeply. However, an unexpected turn meant his flight only covered 29.94 meters. The 90% humidity from the rain had brought about rough conditions. The paper had warped, making extended flight range difficult. But one man managed to struggle past this deadlock. He's Mitsuru Ishii of the Airplane Fanatic Corps. Mitsuru Ishii is a world record holder for flying time of hand-launched gliders. From experience, he derived a side launch technique. The plane is tilted and launched sideways. After climbing, the plane levels off and then begins its gliding descent.
Here goes. It's gliding further and further. It's headed for the wall. The plane glides as it makes a wide turn. It goes as far as it can go, then slams into the wall. Wow! And the distance covered is an incredible 103 meters. That's truly impressive. The winning team is the one that attains the greatest distance. Will the Tohoku University Academic Flyers be able to turn things around? Let's look at where we are. The longest distance so far is 103 meters by the Airplane Fanatic Corps. 103 meters. We rented this venue because we wanted the biggest space we could get, but a plane still hit the opposite wall. That's right. It was totally unexpected. Incredible. Now let's begin part two. First up, we have Yasuhiro Ueno, a radio-controlled airplane enthusiast. Are radio-controlled airplanes different from paper planes? Completely different. The fun in flying a radio-controlled plane is that you can control it once it's in the air. But you can't do that with a paper plane. I understand that you built a paper airplane for the first time, and this is it. Yes. There's something hidden here. The tail is hidden under this box. What kind of trick does Weno have up his sleeve? weno has been an airplane enthusiast for 40 years. His passion is radio-controlled gliders. Although there's no engine or motor, he can control the angles of the wings. Weno's idea was to build a paper airplane that he could pilot freely by making control adjustments. As a radio-controlled airplane enthusiast, you want to control a paper airplane, but you can't control anything. <laughs> Weno begins by building a paper spring. He then places it under the tailplane, the horizontal stabilizer. It holds up with even the slightest force. The role of the stabilizer is to control the pitch of the airplane. At the time of launch, air pressure forces the stabilizer down. This causes an upward force on the stabilizer surface. The airplane will then gradually level off and naturally go into a glide without stalling. As the air pressure decreases, the force of the spring causes the stabilizer to slant upward, forcing it downward and enabling the plane to maintain level flight over a longer distance. Let's see. Okay. A rapid descent. Huh? What happened? Did the spring work? Oh, that's disappointing. Is his controlled paper plane an impossible dream? Ueno is not one to give up. He's devising another mechanism. It's easy to copy someone else's idea. But I'd rather come up with my own and blow everyone away. Two weeks later, Ueno says he's developed a new mechanism. And this is it. The spring didn't work well, so I'm using a traditional deer scarer. We heard the sound of that bamboo deer scare. Now, can we take a look at it? Sure. Please. Well. This is the deer scare? How is it supposed to work? Let me show you. It's a mechanism that moves the horizontal stabilizer. This is how it moves. Let me blow on it. <sighs> oh, yeah. I... You're right. What a unique idea. You're going to pilot it somehow. <laughs> I can see that you're very meticulous. 
The venue we prepared can accommodate not only the 69 meter world record, we can measure a range of up to 110 meters. Although current leader Mitsuru Ishii's plane hit the far wall, it covered 103 meters because it veered to the right of its flight path. Will Ueno be able to break the world record with his mechanical plane? And perhaps even beat his teammates' momentous result? Okay, give it your best shot. Three, two, one, launch. Ueno-san's plane launches straight ahead, and it continues to fly straight. It didn't stall. How far will it go? Oh. What a graceful landing. That was beautiful. The plane didn't stall as it gradually leveled off. The deer scarer worked just as Ueno planned. Here's the moment. And again. It's a deer scarer that flies through the air. It kept the plane in level, steady flight with a beautiful glide. What a clever way to pilot a paper airplane. That's supreme skill. Now let's see the distance for Ueno Sun of the Airplane Fanatic Corps. It is 65.57 meters. Beautiful. You certainly showed us a flying deer scare. That was an amazing flight. Beautiful. Next up are the Tohoku University Academic Flyers. Remaining is this master duo. We have esteemed professor Yasuaki Kohama and his disciple Satoshi Kikuchi, who's an associate professor at Gifu University. Kohama's been working on some futuristic technology. This is it. Is it an airplane or is it an F1 racer? and Kikuchi. This master duo pushing the bounds of future airplane technology is about to challenge the world record. I've never heard of that. Yes, indeed, Aerotrain. You can say that it's a flying train of the future. It's very energy efficient. The ground effect allows you to gain distance using very little energy. How would its energy use compare with the Shinkansen bullet train? It would be less than one third. Do you think something like this can be realized in the future? I'm hoping it can be realized within my lifetime. <laughs> He's going to apply the principle of ground effect to paper airplanes. Kohama has handed this mission off to Kikuchi. Kikuchi always says he can't do it or it's impossible, but in the end, he always comes through. Does he often make impossible demands? I'd say so, yes. This is the design that Kikuchi has developed in response to Kohama's impossible demands. Here it is. Let's call it the Aero Plane. The air enters here and goes to the back. When the pressure increases here, lift is generated. First, he'll demonstrate ground effect. Here goes. It's just sliding along, that's all. At least, that's what you thought. However... It's skimming along just one centimeter above the floor. What an amazing demonstration of ground effect with a paper airplane!
that's supreme skill! This is the flight plan that will use ground effect. First, they'll launch it like an ordinary paper airplane to get some distance. As the plane approaches the surface, it'll realize its true capabilities. It can skim just above the surface and extend its range. Will it work? Here goes. <laughs> A distance of one meter! What happened, Professor? It's not a design that is stable high off the floor. It is shaped for stability when using ground effect. The hurdle is to maintain stability while flying higher. What improvements is he thinking of making? It's complete, the Aeroplane Mark II. This aircraft has two types of wings. The outer wings are for stable performance at higher altitudes. The inner wings are for trapping air underneath for ground effect. It's truly a hybrid. <laughs> and what's Kohama's assessment? I don't think you can make it better than this. It seems very controllable. I think it's really well made. High praise! Here's the test flight of the Aeroplane Mark II. Three, two, one. Wow, that's amazing! It slammed into a wall 50 meters away! Come on! It flew too far, and we don't even know whether ground effect will work! That's amazing, Kikuchi-san! There's no doubt you'll score big! That was really incredible! Yes. yes. <laughs> so, what was your role, Professor Koama? Well, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> You just tell him to come up with something. That's how we built the aero train, too. <laughs> so Professor Koama gives instructions, but you build it. I'm the one who makes it happen. Have you been working that way for many years? I suppose. He has ideas and I build them, but he has unrealistic ideas, too. That must be tough. <laughs> Now let's get a look at that ground effect. Okay, here we go. Ready to launch. Three, two, one. Launch, launch, launch. Very graceful flying. It hit the ground. It lost stability. It didn't adjust well and ended up tilting to the right. It won't realize its potential this way. To be successful, the approach angle is what's important. Unless the aircraft can fly parallel to the ground, no ground effect will be generated. This distance is 37.59 meters. I see. What do you think, Kikutsang? I'm amazed at how difficult paper airplanes are. Very intricate. Our strength is to work with ground effect, so we wanted to use that to attempt this. If we don't get the ground effect, we basically lose our edge. I guess so. But it was a great experience. The top score so far is 103 meters. But there's a man with a secret plan to break that record. He's Junji Ishii of the Airplane Fanatic Corps. He's an incredible man who's won a world record in the past. Going back some 40 years, young Ishii was a university student driven by the pursuit of a dream. He took up the unprecedented challenge of flying a human-powered airplane. I worked really hard building it. 
All the team members slept in the workshop, and we'd start work as soon as we woke up. Washing your face was considered a waste of time. <laughs> After a year of designing and building, the stork was complete. It flew really far. In fact, it flew twice the world distance record at the time. And Ishii is once again about to challenge a record. From a technical standpoint, there would be nothing strange about going twice that 70 meter distance. I think it can be done. Did he just declare it would go 140 meters? All right, Ishii, let's see him make history. So when I was around three years old, that's right. He broke the world record. He flew the furthest in the whole world. Hey, Matsuzaki-san, did you know about him? Yes, I'd heard of him, but I'd never met him. He's a master. So you heard his name? We've seen his name in many places. He's something of a legend. The legendary master Junji Ishii has revealed his plane. Just looking at the plane, I think it's very simple and beautiful. I get the sense that it'll really fly. But hang on a minute! His secret plan was elsewhere. The way the launcher is set up. You're pointing it that way? I thought I'd launch it in the opposite direction. Right. I thought I'd launch it in the opposite direction. He's going to launch it in the opposite direction? What's he planning? One month before the contest, Ishii came up with an idea that only an airplane fanatic would think of. We're going into a loop and get it to roll at the top, you see? The Illman turn is considered a top-notch acrobatic maneuver. The plane begins a climb by tracing a circle, and when it reaches the top, it does a half roll and returns to level flight. But why would Ishii go to all the trouble to do this? All right. Watch it from further back or you won't see it. Here goes. What? 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 It went nice and far. <laughs> what? It crashed into the wall on the second floor some 40 meters away. It climbed immediately after being launched in the opposite direction. At this point, the aircraft has already changed direction to point to its intended course. This is the Immelman turn. The Immelman turn uses virtually all of the initial speed in the climb. The plane reaches an amazing 15 meters up in the air. After leveling off, it begins gliding downward from a very high point. Surely this is going to beat that great record. However... If you're a gambler, then the Immelman turn is the way to go. What? Gambling? Launch. Oh, no. Actually, the success rate of this technique is very low. Speed, launch angle, warping caused by humidity, a slight variation in any of these can spell failure. It's terrible. The setup for today and the setup for tomorrow, the conditions of the rubber launcher and plane are all going to be different. It's really a one-shot deal. Basically, we won't know until we do it at the main event. <laughs> a once-in-a-lifetime chance with the Immelman turn. Are you a gambler? I am. If Mitsuru Ishii's going to fly that far, what else have I got but the Immelman turn? You're right. With just the right speed and angle, it'll glide just like that. But if it's not just right, it'll dive or stall or crash inverted. You can only do it if everything is just so. So the success rate is low? Yes. He's making a major bet on whether he can exceed 103 meters. Will he be lucky? Or won't he? It looks like you're ready to go. 
What is the distance you're hoping for? I'm hoping to hit high on that wall. What? You have a specific target. That's all I can hope for. Well, let's see if you can hit that high spot on the wall. Yes. Give it your best shot. Three, two, one, launch. 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 It climbed very high. It looks like it's heading the wrong way. It crashed. What happened? Oh, too bad. Mm. The plane climbed just as planned but it rolled over before reaching its highest point, then lost stability and crashed. Too bad. Junji Ishii-san's distance is 28.46 meters. Ishii-san, what do you think happened? I wonder. It seemed to go well with the test flight before. Test flight? It went to the wall. What? Really? It really is up to chance. The contest is over! At 103.29 meters, Mitsuru Ishii of the Airplane Fanatic Corps gets the top score! And so, the winner is the Airplane Fanatic Corps! You managed to go beyond 100 meters. I did. What do you think? Well, I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> I would think so. Working with paper is very difficult. You don't really know what you'll get until you try. Even with a big hole like this, it seems it was too small. We should do it again. We should. Sure, there are a lot of ideas to take. <laughs> like everyone does a big turn at the top. To finish off, Let's look at a video of Junji Ishii making a successful Immelman turn. Three, two, one, launch. That incredible flight went over 112 meters. There's no limit to paper airplanes. Choice of the day. Medical Frontier Special. We visit Okinawa, eat local food, and search for the secrets to a long, healthy life.